Hey Wizards, guess what? It is Kieran Asham and I'm back for another exciting episode of the Dual School Firestorm walkthrough and we've got some work to do. Yeah, we gotta go find this Velma. Girl, I think they said Marleybone, so let's head on that way. Apparently we are doing some stuff here for the Arcanum, the new Arcanum place. Awesome, it's like we're in college now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, we have to go to Avalon. Okay, so we have to go to Avalon first. I'm sorry, I, I was wrong. Anyways, because up oh, there, there's Velma. Let's talk. The Arcanum sent you? I guess you're my backup. I could have handled this myself. I don't know when the other scholars will start trusting me. I'm glad to have the company, though. I don't know how much Ioni told you, but I've been investigating the surge in shadow magic. Mm, it's probably my fault, but let's go. You ever heard of a sorceress named Morganth? Yeah, I thought so. She nearly destroyed the spiral meddling in shadow magic. No telling. Wow. She's not the problem anymore, but the surge is related. I think some of her acolytes, these arachna, have been continuing her work. Yeah, they were a nasty lot. I tracked them to this place they've been using as a hideout. Now, all that's left is to go in and confront them. Got it? Good. Follow me. Okay, well, I guess we're following Velma. Velma, Velma, Velma. Oh, she's following us. Check it out. We get to team up with Velma Venkman. That's a mashup if you've never, never seen it before. Okay, let's go. We are starting on quest number 68 at the moment. So let's see where we can take this. Yeah. Do 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 do. It's good to be back in old Avalon. Haven't been back here in a hot minute. Velma von Vinkman. Yeah, where do those two names come from? What's the mashup from those? If you know, let it know. Let it. Uh, type in the comments. Leave us a comment. By the way, guys, there are three free awesome things you can do that can support the channel. I already named one of them. You can leave us a comment or two. You can go ahead and drop us a like or even better, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for all you subscribers. You just hit a new high on subscribers and that's fabulous. So thank you for taking the time and I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing the channel. We were getting close to that magic 2000 subscriber points and I cannot wait to share it with you when we do. Okay, my goodness. If I wouldn't know it was this far, we would have portaled over here. Well, at least it's in Caroleon, so I don't think we have to go too much further. We just have to find the rice hat right house. Yep, arachnids are like spread out and they're just hiding out in little little um little houses. How funny is that? Yep, this would be the one we're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and hop on in. Fantastic. So dealing with some of Morgant's legacy. Very good. So we start on quest number 68 tonight, and the goal, guys, is we'd like to get all the way to 78. We'll see if we can do that. We're exposed! I knew Avalon was a poor place to hide. Let us not go down gently, though. We fight to the end! How funny. Okay. Okay, I see Storm and such. Oh, by the way, we went up to level 110. I really gotta check some stuff out. Do, 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 I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna crush this guy. Let's do it! Chill venom. Chill venom. Chill, chill, chill venom. Very good. Awesome, guys. So we are down to the last, almost the last 30 quests of this world. Isn't that exciting? I think it's actually super exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we won't do that. Or that. We'll do this. Well, we'll do that. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. So, yeah, things have been going extremely well. We're Like I said, we started start on Quest 68. There are 98 quests total in this world. And honestly, there aren't that many bosses, including this boss. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bosses in this section. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bosses left. So yeah, there's not that many boss fights left in the game. Pretty stoked. Alrighty, so let's see here. 
Bam. Well, they're swinging, but, you know, you expect them to come out swinging. Let's get this blight up. Prep this for the hit afterwards. Yeah, I probably should have just went ahead and did it. It's okay. Huh, well, let's go. Nice. Good hit there. Yeah. I think we're about to electrify him. Okay, there we go. Glad I put that up. There we go. That should finish this fight off. No, not quite. Oh, that's a little annoying. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the, um... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should have, got, should have gotten rid of the meteor strike. Gosh, how annoying. That should be done with this fight. Okay. Ouch. There we go. Fight's over, right? Yep. Shadow spelled himself down. Well, you know, whatever works, right? Sometimes that's how you win. Why must you do this? Our queen is gone, and we seek only to live out our days in peace. Your queen is gone, but her legacy persists. Shadow magic still corrupts the spiral. You expect us to believe you're not responsible? Of course, shadow magic continues to spread. Grandfather Spider is free, along with his children. The spiral is doomed. But we are spurned and know little. Why ask us, when the one who released Grandfather Spider from his prison stands at your side? Oh dear, I've been outed. 
Of course, your wizard friend would have known Grandfather Spider better by another name. He called himself Old Cobb. Yeah, yeah, I figured that would come bite me in the... Yeah. Hold on, what are you saying? You mean the wizard... Ugh, wizard? Could we maybe, um, have a word outside? Who, me? Uh, okay. Oh, there she is. Well, I guess there are no coincidences. So you're the one who defeated the Shadow Queen? Wow, color me impressed. And it's true about Grandfather Spider? Darkmoor has some scary bedtime stories, but the ones about Grandfather Spider were the worst. I thought all that stuff about Raven and Spider was a myth, but now I find out he's real? It does explain the surge in shadow magic, though. All right, this is bad, that's true, but it's not the end of the spiral. Not yet, at least, right? Sure. And of course, this doesn't look good for you. Ugh, I should be the one to go tell Ioni. I'll go now. Maybe she'll calm down before you return. Well, that did not go as well as it could have gone. Yeah. Well, well, well. Let's, um... Whoops. Hit the wrong key. Let's head back to the Arcanum. Well, well, well. So, how was I to know the old guy chained down there in the pit would it turn out to be some ancient shadow lord who wants to destroy the spiral? I mean, who would have guessed? I mean, you know, it's not like they had a sign on it or anything. I feel conflicted. I want to dislike you now more than ever. But if it's true you defeated Morganth, I have to give you some credit for that. Furthermore, there's no time for me to rebuke you. The revelation that Grandfather Spider has escaped his prison changes everything. There can be no doubt that Spider's return is a threat to the Spiral. We must work together and move quickly to find out what web he weaves. I'm pleased to say Baba Yaga has agreed to resume her duties here at the Arcanum. Go speak with her in the Hall of Conjuration. Okay, well, let's go talk to Baba Yaga. And actually, at 110, I think we have some options for some new spells. So we really gotta take a moment here and see if we can train some new spells. Let's go talk to old Baba Yaga first. I knew you were trouble the first time I laid eyes on you. I just didn't realize how much trouble. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were the one who defeated Morganth? I don't know if that's a sign of modesty or if it's just plain suspicious. Don't bother answering! What matters now is you help us clean up this mess. And since I'm stuck here, that means you get to do the footwork. Oh, that's great. Now that we've confirmed Grandfather Spider's return, it seems clear to me that this Rasputin character is one of Spider's children. Ah. The question is, which one of Spider's children is he? Hmm, that might help us figure out what terrible plans he has for Polaris. Xander, the Arcanum Life Scholar, has been studying ancient texts about Spider's children. I want you to go find out what he's learned. Don't let Xander fool you. He doesn't talk, but he has a great deal to say. Come back when you've got something more on Rasputin. Okay. Well, that's what we're about. That's what we're about. Let's go find Xander. He's over here in the life section. Oh, look at this. Patience, Initiate. Patience. Questions are only the seeds of answers. And answers need room to grow before they can be harvested. You wish to know about Grandfather Spider's children, do you? They're a dark brood, to be sure. Born out of pure misery during Spider's captivity. Each of them has a true name and form. We're talking about a dark, shadowy nature that they'll probably try to disguise. 
Disguised or not, the children are driven by spiders' vengeful ambitions. The spiral stands for all they hate. They will try to destroy it. That's the big picture. But you want to know about one child in particular? Talk to our balanced scholar, Jackie Whisperwind. She'll help you. Okay, let's go talk to Whisperwind. Now, Whisperwind comes from the world that I don't know if they've actually named yet. Yeah, or at least I've not seen a name for it anywhere out there. She comes from a very unique place. But we don't know where it is, and we've never heard it said. And she doesn't give us any clue either. It kind of looks like a northern Native American style style um, culture. Let's talk. Oh, hi. You're the one from Ravenwood, right? I've always wanted to visit there. I hear there's a street called Unicorn Way. Good times. I love unicorns. And Pegasi? Have you ever ridden a Pegasus? They're so fast. That's good if you're in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry. And I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to be helping you learn about Grandfather Spider's children. I found something. There's a bunch of cave paintings in Zafaria. The ancient Zafarians somehow recorded information about Spider's children. How did they know, right? Amazing. And I wonder how they drew the paintings. Is it really paint or is it chalk? <laughs> it looks like ink, but... Oops, I'm getting distracted. Zafaria, look for an archaeologist named Airedale Guthrie. Tell him Jackie will share her secret if he helps you. Okay, Jackie's going to share her secret, but you got to help me. Good times, right? Okay, so it looks like we are heading over to the savannah. Fantastic, Safari. I love Safari. What a great world Safari is. But we have to, like, get over there. Very good, very good. Yeah, so this is a heavy lore episode today, it seems. Savannah would be right over here. No portals to Savannah. It's just go to Savannah. Like, oh, there's that wizard again. Get out of his way. Okay, come on, Airedale. Where are you hiding? Ooh. There, I see him. Mr. Airedale Guthrie. I say, you look more learned than some of these other wizards I see running around here. I'm Airedale Guthrie, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're interested in the early Safarian mythos, too? Fascinating material, isn't it? I'm doing research for the Royal Museum. I might be willing to share my insights. Now, wait, wait. You're a friend of Jackie's. Oh, of course, then. The cave paintings are just in here. I was about to go in and study the paintings, but one has come to life and it's quite hostile. If you'll deal with it, well, we have a deal. <laughs> okay. Let's deal with the painting that's come to life and is quite hostile. Quite hostile. Well, I'm sure we can handle it. Right, guys? We're about to find out. Oh, it's a fire guy. Okay. Well, you know. Let's get him. Cave monster painting. <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. Oh my goodness, it's so funny. Okay, well, we're not using any of this. That's what I want, right? That's what I'm talking about. Do need this. Just one sharpen. Uh, there we go. That's better. Right there. Very cool. Very cool. So, another boss. In fact, I think all these are boss fights over the next several things. For sure. What a great pet.
What the heck? Actually, I just need a feint, and I think we'd be finished with this fight. Oh, we need to do a hit before this cave monster gets to be a pain in the butt. What? Man, that's not what I need. I was hoping for a faint. Fire from above, or yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, a spell. Wow. I do such things. Perfect. Let's end this. Ouch. Well, this will hurt. Wow, I must have been scared about that. My wizard closed his eyes there for a moment. I don't want to see it hit me in the face. It might still hit me in the face, but I don't want to see it happening. Perfect. I say, good show, wizard. Come closer now. These cave paintings are sure to be less hostile and more informative. Let's go. Fascinating. As I suspected, these paintings reveal just how superstitious the ancient Safarians were. Not only did they believe an old evil spider was imprisoned underground, they thought his children would someday rise and destroy the spiral. Here we have the Scorpion, a master alchemist and ruthless warlord, prophesied to rise from the desert sands and steal the sun. This. This is the Bat, a brilliant shape-shifting vampire, a master of illusion and subterfuge, and with a heart as black as night. And last, the Rat, eldest of Spider's children, a mad creature of corrupting influence. He steals into men's minds and makes them his puppets. Wow, that sounds like somebody we know. Can you imagine? <laughs> they actually believed in this hogwash. What? What? Was it something I said? That's all you need? <laughs> all right. Give Jackie my regards. Okay, well, let's gra get back to the door and go talk to Jackie. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we are back at the Arcanum. Balance right in the middle. Very nice. I wonder which one's been here the longest. Oh, hey! Welcome back! How was Wallaroo? Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, you were going to Zafaria. That's right! Yes, did Airedale help you? Oh, good. Yeah, Wallaroo. I'll have to send old Airedale a thank you note tomorrow. Or maybe next week. Right now, I have to find this book about spiral astrobiology. Oh, the cave paintings! Yes, 
You learned about spiders, children? That's great! You should go tell Baba Yaga right away. Now, where was I? Let's go tell Baba Yaga right away. Here you had to work with Jackie. Sometimes hard to follow, isn't she? <laughs> but sometimes there's wisdom in her madness. So you discovered Rasputin's true nature. The rat, eh? A puppet master? That sounds fitting. <laughs> but what is the rat's plan in Polaris? I believe it's the Borealis gemstones that are the key. Why was he mining them? We know their magic, but what kind of magic? I gave a small Borealis gem to our fire scholar, Ignis Ferric. Go to the Hall of Pyromancy and see if Ignis has been able to glean anything from it. <laughs> well, let's go talk to old Ignis. He's the fire teacher, which means fire spells and I think I'm due for a fire spell am I not I just got one but there's some new ones coming up I think okay ah the new initiate warms my heart to see a fresh face the other scholars can be gruff at times as you may have noted I've been examining the Borealis gemstone Baba Yaga gave me it's a wonderful little rock very rare and very magical. Unfortunately, it's too small for me to really determine its properties. Luckily, though, legends speak of a similar gemstone from Mirage. It's called the Desert Star, once the crown jewel to the first sand sultans, but lost long ago. I think we might learn a great deal from it. Kizma, our death scholar, is from Mirage. She has been researching the Desert Star's current location. She can help you recover it. Okay, well, Kizma Shasa. The Desert Star, they say. Guys, we're going to keep this going for one more fight. Let's do this thing. It is a privilege to meet you, Initiate. I am Kizma Shaza, Amira of Paraj, and Liwan of the Silent Sabres. You may simply call me Kizma. I have heard whispers of your accomplishments, and I salute your magical prowess. I am honored to help you recover the Desert Star. The gemstone is from a bygone age, when Mirage was united in peace and purpose. Today, it is ruled by petty warlords who squabble over empty sands. It seems the Desert Star was taken from Mirage many centuries ago by ancient Celestian researchers who promised to return it, but never followed through. It was left inside an ancient research lab in Celestia's District of the Stars, where it remains to this day, deep beneath the risen waters. If you go there, I believe you will find the Desert Star. You may then take it to Ignis for study. Stay strong, Initiate. I hope our paths cross again. Wow, we have to go all the way to Celestia. Well, with that, guys, we're going to... I don't think I can get anything from Ignis. Yeah. I really want to see if I can, like, train something. Okay, before we call, let's see if we can get them to do me some training. I think I have to complete all these quests. Oh no, well, look, we can. Oh, he's the guy with all the stuff. Right? So, basically, okay, so here's the big deal. This is our next big crafting thing. Okay, and this is where it starts to get hard because if you see this, um, we have to be 125. Okay, so, we, so it's gonna be a bit before we can do this. Okay. Uh, okay. So, 
see, those are very good. Lots of damage, but it doesn't help us out with our storm. So we would lose 10 damage on our storm stuff, but we gain we would gain 20, 10 to 20 damage on our fire. So we're, we got to craft them. I mean, you know, let's be honest. We're going to craft them. But is that going to be the right call? I don't know yet. I don't know. That's cool. Okay. So we got to think about that. And transmutes glass silver. Ooh, I've never had to do this one before. Okay. The tough thing about this. Ooh. Let's see here. We want some storm. No, 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 no. Fire jewels? Yeah. We might have to do that. So, yeah. Grab the recipe. Okay. But, well, we'd have to do the... Do Ignis's torch staff, which is pretty cool. Staff's pretty cool looking. Okay. The tough part is going to be getting all these antiquities. I don't think we'll be able to do that till Mirage. Yeah, you can't get antiquities till Mirage. So, we won't be able to craft this one for a little while. Okay. And I was hoping he would do some training, but I, I don't think I don't think the training, the spell training's up yet. We have to do one more thing. Well, guys, unfortunately for right now, that's all the time.